Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. And the one we have right here is the April Box of Dread, which uh, people who have been paying attention to my unboxings know that I like the Box of Dread. Um, it's on the lower end of the price range, and um, I just like the items that you get for that price. I mean, it's nice and, you know, like it. Uh, this one's not very heavy, so part of me thinks there might be some sort of plush in here. Not huge on plushes, but if they're the right plush, I'm okay with that. Like if it's like a Cthulhu plush or a Pinhead plush or something like that. Um, I had already got a one of the Mopies through Box of Dread some months back, um, and that was Michael Myers Mopies. So on the couch in my man cave down in the basement. So uh, works out. So if I just line that with horror characters, I'm cool with it. But I don't want a ton of plushies. So hopefully it's not plushies. But if it is, we'll see. Well, great it based on that. You're probably saying, oh my gosh, this video is coming out so much sooner than the last one. Yes, because the U.S. Postal Service got their shit figured out and <laughs> the Box of Dread made it to me in time. So um, John at Box of Dread and Dread Central, you can breathe easy. It made it. It is good. So yeah, and if you heard, maybe my cat is yelling in the background, as she likes to do from time to time for attention. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll see what we got. Um, I kind of like how a lot of the times the boxes are different sizes and shapes, because it just kind of keeps you guessing. Oh, I don't want to turn that all the way around, because my address is on there, and I didn't block it out, so I'll keep it like this. Cut this sucker open. All right. Put sharp things back where they go, because you don't want to cut yourself. All right, let me put this over to the side. Got just a bunch of paper on top, or is there something wrapped in it? This might just be paper on top, or there might be a plush inside of it. I guess that's the first thing I'm grabbing, because there might be a plush inside of this paper. Okay, no, there's not. It's just paper for packing, you know. You gotta make sure. My cat will enjoy that. She loves playing with those things. Maybe that'll make her stop yelling. That'd be nice. First thing. Oh, feels like maybe some sort of poster. We shall see how this goes. It is a little poster. I've never gotten a poster in this yet. So this will be my first one. Hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I mean, good poster. Like, for what it's supposed to be. As you can see, it's hatchet. You know, for anyone who really likes Adam Green's hatchet, as you can see, I'll just do like a, uh, there you go, okay, there you go, he's going to kill somebody, hatchet. Uh, this is more of like comic, I know there's a hatchet comic coming out, so I'm assuming this, it's pro this is probably like um, supposed to be timely for that because it's promoting it. Um, it says American Mythology Productions, I don't know if that's who it's coming out from, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Hatchet movies for some reason. Um, I do enjoy slashers, but for some reason, I'm not just I'm just not a huge fan of that one. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. I've watched all three of them, I believe, and I'm not a huge fan. I just I don't get it. My buddy Rich, he loves them. He thinks they're great. Loves Adam Green, and that's all good. I'm glad that they were made. Um, probably the only thing that I really like out of that film is whenever Tony Todd is in it because Tony, I, I really like Tony Todd. Love his voice, love his acting. He's always fun to see. So, um, it's a good poster, but it's just not for me. Plus, one of the other things uh, in, with posters in general for me, I like them to be rolled the other way around, so the actual um, pictures on the outside, because it's a lot easier to unfurl it and get it on a wall that way, as opposed to this way, where you have to get it like super flattened out. And a lot of times you won't even be able to. So like these, you're not you're typically not going to frame. So you probably just want to put them straight on the wall, which is what I would do. But it makes it harder when you're trying to put it up so that it would curl outward as opposed to curl against the wall. So just saying, I like it curled the other way. But anyway, you know, it's just me. It's being picky. Something on the bottom. Is this a comic? Maybe it's a hatchet comic. Oh, it's the board 
I'm assuming the comic fell out. It did. Oh, well, there you go. It makes sense. Look, does this look familiar? It's the Hatchet comic. And this is the front of the Hatchet comic. So there's basically kind of... I mean, it's basically two um, covers. So that one is... Yeah, that one... Oh, this is it signed? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. It's actually signed. Oh, and it's a box of Dread exclusive. It actually says it up here, if you can see. Let me get it in there for you. Box of... I'm sorry, the lighting's not the best. Box of Dread exclusive. This is number zero hatchet. So... Oh, and it's black and white on the inside for some reason. Look. Oh, no, it's color there. It's black and white at the back. So I guess it's like flashback, maybe, is my guess, but... Um, the art style looks good. Interested to read it. I've actually gotten really big into comics recently. Like I said, I'm not a huge Hatchet fan, but it's a comic book, and I'm willing to give it a shot, because why the hell not? Uh, also, I do really like the fact that it's signed. I assume James Kahorik is the person who signed it, because his name's right down here, and there's a J in the beginning of that. So that's my guess, is James Kahorik. Um, this... It's not sticky, which is why it didn't stay in there. Eh. Bag and boarded, though. Good idea. I think there's a pop in here, which makes me pretty excited. I would like that to be the very last thing I pull out. So, is a sticker or something? <laughs> Fulci Comics. Um, it's, a, I think, like a window decal type deal. And from Zombie... With an I, no E. Right, zombie. That's cool, right? Very gnarly, iconic, Fulci zombie with his worms coming out of his eye socket. That's cool. I like that. Probably won't put it on my car just because, you know, where I work, people seeing that. Probably wouldn't be cool with it. So I think the pop, pop might be the last thing. Please be your super awesome horror pop. Please, please, please. Oh, shit. I already have this. That blows ass. Oh, that sucks so fucking bad. It's uh, Ellen Ripley from Aliens. Uh, really wish I could get this. But I'm going to bet that everybody got Ellen Ripley specifically and not have the chance of the Alien Queen. Although, actually, maybe here and there there was like a few thrown in, but... That really blows. I got this out of uh, my very first big old box of stuff. Um, so I was excited for that then. I'm not excited to have a second one of these. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe just give it to a friend, I guess. But um, this sucks because I only have... This is my third pop total. So of three pops, two of them are the same. It just sucks. I mean, what were the odds? But, you know, it's a good item... I would have been happy if I didn't already have it. So let me just put it that way. I, yeah, and uh, there's nothing else. Okay, yeah, so that was it with the box. Um, happy with this, like I've said before, it's a, you know, it's a $20 box. That's including shipping. So it's basically a $14 box with $6 shipping. So the pop is basically like, you know, 10 bucks. The comic is probably about like, I would say, Four or five dollars typically, but then there's the signature on it, so that's good. Little, you know, this is maybe like two bucks or something, and then like fifty cents a dollar. Eh, probably more like a dollar on this. So, I mean, you're good. Um, I like this box because it typically has less items. Um, I really hate when I get items that, like, I get a ton of items or I get bigger items and I don't have interest in them. That just sucks because then I got to figure out what to do with them or where to stash them or whatever. So. That's one of the main reasons I really like Box of Dread because if you're getting items that you're not really big into, they're typically not going to take up a ton of space, if that sounds weird. I mean, I'm not I'm not the biggest collector, which is why I'm only doing, the, you know, this, the BAM box, and um, big old box of stuff every here and there. So, it's just me. It's just me. Um, but hopefully a bunch of people were excited about getting Ellen Ripley. That would be cool. Um, but you can let me know if you leave some comments, you know, but please at the same time, if you could do some likes, subscribe, it's easy to subscribe. Just give me that little subscribe. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I'd just like to chat with people about, you know, your thoughts on Box of Dread in general. Were you excited about getting Ellen Ripley pop if you got this box? Or would you be excited if you didn't get it and wanted to get it or would have thought about getting it? Are you excited about the Hatchet stuff? Do you like Hatchet? Um, am I way off base? Should I revisit this Hatchet ordeal? I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Until next time, which I think the next unboxing should be the BAM box. Unless my big, next big old box of stuff comes quicker than I um, am anticipating. But who knows? Uh, probably BAM box though, and that one will be fun. So anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. John at um, Box of Dread slash Dread Central. You can breathe easy. I'm glad this worked out now. And uh, oh, well, hopefully there weren't issues with other people just say that but thank you so much for doing what you do i know you work hard and you're the only person handling this so it's a lot of work man anyway thank you everyone and until next time keep it brutal